Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to project number five of 25 beginner JavaScript projects. In this application, we're going to show you how to create this cool counter. I created a website dedicated to the projects that we're going to be building in this series. You can find it at jsprospect.com. I also talk a little bit about the technologies that you need to become a web developer. And you can even access the tutorials directly from here. So if you wanted to watch this one, just click it and you can watch the tutorial here. If you want to learn more about these projects, you can click here. And I wrote a small article that talks about each project. You could even test the project out before you build it. So let's say that you wanted to test this one out. You can click here and you can test out the project. If you want to learn how to host your applications the way I did here, I wrote an article that shows you how to do it. So just click on this link and it's going to take you to this article, host your website for free with GitHub pages. And here I show you the steps that you need to take to host your application on GitHub pages. There's only four steps, so it's actually very simple to do. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to create a folder. Call it counter. Let's open VS code. And let's open that folder. All right, let's add our three files. We have index.html, style.css, and script.js. Let's begin with our HTML. Shift 1, enter. Let's link the CSS and JavaScript file to the HTML. All right, and we are going to use Bootstrap for this project, so let's go grab the Bootstrap CDN. We're going to search for Bootstrap CDN. Let's click on the first link. Let's copy this URL. And we're going to paste it up here. All right, let's right click open with live server. All right, let's begin by creating a container. We know that we need a div tag for that. So let's give this a class of container. And we're going to create a container within this container. So let's create another pair of div tags. Let's give this container a class name of counter. And this is where we're going to add all of the items that are going to go in our counter. We're going to begin by creating an H1 element in which we're going to add a title called counter. Let's create another H1. Let's add a zero. This is where the actual counter is going to, you know, go up or down. So we're going to have to add an ID to this one. Let's call it count. That way we can access it through JavaScript and actually increase it or decrease it. All right, right below this, we're going to create another pair of div tags. And this is where we're going to add our two buttons. Of course, we're going to use bootstrap. So let's search for bootstrap buttons. Let's click on this first link and select the button that you want to use. I'm going to go with this dark one here. And let's paste it in here. Let's actually paste two of them because we're going to need two. And let's change the text. So this is going to be the increase button. And this is the decrease button. Of course, when we click them, we want to either increase or decrease the counter. So we're going to have to add a function to both of these. So we're going to add an on click to each. Let's call the function change count and for this one since we're going to increase the count we're going to add a one
And for the other one, since we're going to decrease, we're going to add a negative one. All right, let's get rid of these spaces here so our HTML looks nice and neat. And that's going to be it for part one. All right, let's begin with our CSS. We're going to start in the body. Let's change the background color. I'm going to go with hex code FC, FC 62. Of course, you can go with another color. It's completely up to you. I actually want to show you a website that I go to to choose cool color combinations, and it's called coolers.co. This is actually where I found the color combinations that I'm going to use for this project. Let's click on start the generator. And it's going to give you different color combinations that you can use for your project. Just click on the spacebar and it generates new codes. Go ahead and bookmark this site. It's actually very useful to have. And I highly recommend it. For the container, we're going to begin by adding a border just to help you see what we are doing here. Let's start off by changing the width to 95%. Let's also add a height to make the container the size of our window. And we're going to go with 100 VH. Now let's place the container in the center of the screen with margin auto. And we're also going to turn this container into a flex box with display flex. All right, let's place the contents of our container in the center of the screen with justify content center. And now let's place them in the middle of the screen with a line item center. All right, for this container, we're also gonna create a border, but this one actually has a border, so we're gonna keep this one. It's gonna be five pixels, solid black. Let's give this a width of 600 pixels and let's add a height of 350. I'm also going to use margin auto with this one to place it in the center. And I'm going to give a padding of 25 pixels to make it look nice and neat. All right, let's use text line center for the text. Let's change the background color. I'm going to go with F E F F E A. And let's give it round edges with border radius. Let's go with five pixel with this one. And let's also turn this container into a flex box. So this top container is a flex box, but now we want to turn this one into a flex box. So whatever's inside of this container, we're going to be able to use flex box properties. All right, we're going to use justify content center, align items center. So this is going to place everything in the center, but notice how it's in a row. We don't want it like that. We want it to be in a column. So we're going to use flex direction column. Let's make our title a little bit bigger. We're gonna change the font size to two rem. Each rem is equivalent to 16 pixels. So two of them, 16 times two. And let's also change the font size of the zero there. We want to make that pretty big. Let's go with nine rem for that. All right, and that's going to be it for the CSS. Don't forget to remove the border. All right, let's knock out the JavaScript. Let's create a variable count and initialize it to zero. And remember to increase or decrease the count here, we're going to call in a function when we click on these buttons. We decided we were going to call that function change count. So let's create that function here. We have something coming in. We're going to grab it with num. 
and we're going to use that num to either increase or decrease our count variable here that we just created all right great we have the count now we just have to display it here remember we gave this an id of count so that's how we're going to get access to it to change it we're going to use document get element by id type in count and we're going to set the inner html equal to the count variable so now when we click this it's going to increase the count here and it's going to display it here but of course if we decrease it it's going to decrease it so that's how you create this counter i'll see you guys in the next project